Okay, so uh, we're going to try a little patina fun here. Got this little piece of copper that I grabbed from work. I just kind of cleaned it up real quick. I didn't go too nuts because I'm just playing with it. And I got a bunch of different salts. And send have, which I'm assuming is the same as send have, but who knows, we'll try it. I'm just experimenting. Send halloo, rock salt, and black salt rock. I got each one laid out in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, oh yeah, here's some mustard oil, ammonia, and vinegar with a spray bottle. So what I'm going to do, put a little bit of ammonia on the paper towel in the bottom of the container. Enough to soak it up. Not super, super wet. But while I have that open, oh, that's strong. I'm gonna put some ammonia in the spray bottle. Jesus, that's strong. And mix in a little bit of plain vinegar with it. Not as much, maybe a quarter of the amount of ammonia. I'll set that off to the side. So now we will take this. This just barely fits in there. So we're going to go like that. So it is suspended above the paper towel. Let me screw the top back on this spray bottle here. It's kind of a pain in the ass because I don't know where my memory card went for my camera, so I gotta use my old phone. So I'll just swirl that up. So, first, I'm going to put a little mustard oil down on this side. Sure. Just, and we'll do a little bit more, why not? Just coat that with mustard oil. And we'll spray the tube with this mixture so that there's something for the salt to stick to. Try not to spray the spot where the mustard oil is completely. And of course, my spray bottle is being stupid. Aha! I can use some of the Sindhav salt, which is weird. This stuff's like a powder. Sure, there's some of that on there. I'm going to try to get some of this rock salt without the big chunks that will actually stick. I don't know how well it's going to stay, and yeah, not very well. I have gotten different experiences with coarse grain salt as opposed to fine grain, so this will definitely show that. And all this thing will focus. Then use some of the plain rock salt. I got all this at a Indian bazaar down the road that I never even realized was there. But I figured, screw it, they probably got some different salts in there. And lo and behold, they did. And I can already see different colors coming up on the tube. I just sprayed it. And I want to do this a little bit quicker. That's the Shindaloo after the rock salt. And the Sun Tab, which I'm assuming is probably the same as the stuff on the other side. And I'm hoping that uh, we get a little bit of a difference here between the different kinds. Oh, that's great, I think I'll miss it a little bit more or something. So 
so we will give it a little while. Actually, down here, I can't tell if that's bubbling from the spray bottle or if it's bubbling on its own. Oh, wow, I gotta get my face over there. So I'm just going to cover that up with aluminum foil and let it sit for a little while and uh, come back and check it in a little bit. Just figured I'd show it just in case. That's all it is. Just covered the top with aluminum foil, just enough to keep the fumes in there. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so she's been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Again, this is a pain in the ass to do, holding the phone. What I'll try to do is uh, knocking all the salt off. Holy ammonia fumes, wow. But, just for the hell, it doesn't seem like the, it's like the mustard oil is doing much of anything. But, I'm going to spray a little bit more. And then put a little bit more of each type of salt on there. Just for the hell of it. Rock salt's kind of a pain in the ass. Way too coarse of to really get much on there. But sometimes I like to look better of the bigger spots of color as opposed to the small stuff. Yeah, but, uh, it definitely looks like we're starting to get some blue already. And it's only been about 20 minutes. We're going to cover it back up and come back again later. So it has now been about 40 minutes. Let me check this again. Unfortunately, it's almost 10 o'clock and I have to work at 11.15. So once I go to work, it's going to sit for a good period of time. I'm not really going to be able to rotate it because I don't want the salt to fall off. Oh, man, it gets me every time. But it's starting to look decent. It's starting to get color. Actually, I don't know if I want to try to rotate it or not. I have a feeling all that salt's going to fall off. But screw it. It's in the name of science. It doesn't help that I'm trying to grip onto the part. They just covered it in oil. Hey, it worked out better than I thought. Okay, just to see. I'm putting some decent pressure on there and it is not coming off. And the part with the mustard oil is doing absolutely nothing. But that stuff is definitely on there pretty solid right now. So, we'll see what happens. At least now I have the salt down closer to focus. Eh, it doesn't want to focus. At least now the salt is down closer to the ammonia. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. Cover it back up and I'll probably come back in about uh, 40 minutes. So we are back about to pull this off again. And a total of about an hour and 20 minutes. Get another little spritz in. Bottle sucks. I'll cover her back up for a little bit. I'll give it another 15 20 minutes and I'll rinse her off before I go to work. 
Okay, so it's been a half an hour since the last time I looked at it. There's what we got. And in a second I'm going to rinse it off in the sink and see what she looks like. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this bad boy off. And just turn the warm water on. It's not even warm yet, it's still cold. Gently rubber to get the salt off. Rinse her off again. That is what she looks like wet. Okay, so this is what she looks like. We had all the different salts that went on, so up to about here was the Send Have. This was the Shindaloo. This was the regular rock salt. This was the black rock salt. This was the Sind Have. Sind Have, not Send Have. And then down here was the mustard oil, which, as you can see, really didn't do much of anything. But I think it actually turned out better where this all dripped down and left the blues on the bottom, as opposed to where this all was actually sitting. But I'm going to dry it off real quick before I head into work and see what she looks like. So this is what we got. It'll focus any better. I don't know. There we go. You can see where the salt was actually sitting on it. Right here. Isn't quite as good of a look as the rest of it. I didn't think you'd actually be able to see the spots. But, like I said, I think it actually looks better where it dripped down as opposed to where it actually was on there. Here's the bottom. But, considering it only sat for a total of less than two hours, I don't think that's really that bad. So I'm going to take another piece and probably use some of the powdered sand like what was over here and let it sit there while I'm at work overnight and see what happens when we come back but not too bad